Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to my playthrough of The House in the Woods. This is an indie horror game created for a game jam, the haunted PS1 Wretched Weekend game jam. So it was made one weekend, and you're caught up with everything I know. I think this version here was actually made in an additional weekend as well. But anyway, let's talk about me. So you may notice that my quarantine hair is getting a little crazy. I could cut it. I actually did cut my hair myself for many years, but I've decided not to. I'm going to grow it out. I feel like it makes me more relatable. Uh, yeah. What is this, by the way? Does anyone know what we're looking at here? Oh, just a normal campsite map, I guess. Just happens to look like a creepy ancient symbol. So, wait, who are we playing? If you read the intro, Daniel and Heather disappeared in the woods and no one knows where they went. So I don't know if I'm playing as maybe Daniel and I decided to just record a nightly stroll in the creepy ass woods or... But I guess we're just supposed to start randomly exploring the woods, so let's go. The premise of the game jam, by the way, was to make a horror game with minimal gameplay. So this will be mostly walking, but I have heard that this game is good. Actually, I haven't heard that at all. I've just seen a lot of my YouTube friends play it. And they all have titles like, wow, what a scary game. And so that's what I mean when I say I heard it was good. Did I hear someone cry for help? What's up? This is a bad idea. I know that. Do you know that? I heard a twig. That was a heavy twig snap. Maybe it's time to go back to the tent. I heard it again. That was a very loud crunch I heard back there. I might even classify it as a crunch. Oh god, here we are. What is this? Oh my god. Some kind of sacrifice. Where is that coming from? Hello? Mom, can you come pick me up? I'm done gallivanting in the woods for today. My don't go into the woods at 3 a.m. video isn't worth my life. Where to go now? I heard something this way. I don't know if I'm supposed to go this way or what. This dude's already out of breath. Wait, the compass is going crazy. I hear something over here. Um, hello? What is this? Should we be over here? Compass is going insane. How do we interact with this? Can I touch it? Okay, what if we just left it though? All right, I guess we'll just leave the evil talking stone. I like the zoom on this thing. You can see really far into the distance. Anytime I hear a sound effect, I'm just running in that direction. Hello? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Disappearing cloak man? Let's keep going this way. I keep hearing somebody cry for help, but I can't tell where they're coming from. So I'm just gonna go... I'll go in one direction. Okay, compass is going crazy again. Looks like we found another symbol. 
It's like a three stacked on top of another three. Neato. So do we, are we supposed to be collecting these? Is this some kind of Slenderman objective? I'm coming. Don't stop crying for help. Don't stop desperately pleading for help. I'm trying to use it to track you down. The audio in this game is surprisingly good. There's been a couple times when I wasn't sure if it's the character I'm playing as that's breathing or if there's someone behind me. And lots of those crunches in the background, too. Somebody this way. Yeah, yeah, it's this way for sure. Oh! We found it! The house in the woods. From which the game is named. Terrific. Let's go inside it. Oh, never mind the bloody handprint. That's just a prank. Somebody just put that there. Let's go inside. Okay, so here we are. We can leave at any time because the windows are wide open. All right, this is boarded up and apparently that's gonna stop us. Let's check out this door over here. How about this one? I opened it. Excuse you. Wow, they took the time to board up all of these doorways. Hey, you mind breathing so much? Wow. Is there something up there? That was a very loud crunch. How about this? Nice, okay. Damn, dude, how big is... I saw you guys in the woods earlier. What, now you're surrounding my house? This is my house now. Nice try. Ooh, what? Who lit these candles? Did that guy do that? He lit them extremely quickly. It was like a magic trick. Oh, you draw the line at me opening this door, huh? This one's off limits. Yes, I know you guys are out there. You've announced your arrival very heavy-handedly. Now, oh, see? I got in anyway. What's going on? I remember seeing this monolith earlier. Well, no, I saw it again? Where am I? Wait, I'm back. Here. Oh, I don't think so. What, what if we just left? Are they still out there? Oh, <laughs> that answers that question. Yeah, the uh, clansmen slash cultists are no longer out there. Let's go upstairs. I've been curious. We've been hearing an awful lot of noise up here. Wow, look at all the handprints. I know before I die in a haunted house, I like to put my palm all over the wall. Okay. Oh, red means scary, y'all. Here it is. Let me in there. I saw this one earlier too. Stop moving me around. Where am I now? My flashlight won't turn back on, I hate to say it. Get me in here. I saw a creature. You think you can get away from me that easily, huh? 
The house in the woods keeps changing shape. Oh. If we were in Resident Evil 4, I would kill you guys with a grenade. But we're not. And I don't have any grenades. Just know that if we were in that hypothetical situation, you guys would be toast. Somebody's running up the stairs! Come on up! Oh! I hear- I hear somebody crying for help. Let's go rescue her. I'm sure she'll be very appreciative. Wait. Hang on, I don't think I went in here. Oh, it's locked now. I missed my chance. I swear, if you were downstairs all along... Anybody out there? Okay. Oh, you're in here! You're in the basement! Yeah, let's go down there! <laughs> Everyone ready? Huh. Where? Uh... Looks like you're in timeout! For good reason, it looks like! fun. What's happening now? I like that little title screen. Very old school, like, exorcist. Oh, what? Am I some kind of sacrifice? Hey, what's the big idea? What, it's just you? Eat this guy! This guy sucks! Eat him! That was really cool. The house in the woods. See, now, remember when I played Bloober Team's Blair Witch? If it had just been more like that, I would have been cool with it. I feel like, I feel like that was the Blair Witch experience, just condensed down into 20 minutes. That was a pretty short one, but I'm glad I played it. Uh, if you'd like to check the game out, maybe there are some secrets I missed. I doubt it, but you can check it out for yourself with the link in the description. Uh, if you'd like to see more games from the Haunted PS1 Wretched Weekend Jam, uh, that will also be in the description as well. Let me know what you guys thought about The House in the Woods. I liked it quite a bit. I think the audio is outstanding. That really helped set it apart. Um, overall, just it's got great atmosphere. It's got great sound design, audio overall, it's uh, just really good stuff. This is definitely kind of a, a master class in how to make a horror game with minimal gameplay. You know, it doesn't need to be this blown out three and a half hour epic experience. It can be something short and equally impressive like this. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Think critically.